Oh, that's littering. Oh, come on. So that is a partial lane blockage in our tears. Also, you can tell the angle. That thing is pretty darn windy too. Oh yeah, I think that's not his. He's moving out of the way. How you doing? There's one for you. Well, who's this guy over here? Look, look at oh, the. It, you know, it goes downhill. The wind hits it, and I was yeah, those guys away. You're fine if you. But uh, I'm gonna go talk to this gentleman. I'm thinking about putting that one away, but I don't want to scratch my car putting it away. Oh, because you have to like inch, inch it Squeeze out of there. Between the two and cars. And you don't want to lose. Yeah, exactly. And people, when they think they leave it there, they think, oh, it couldn't cause a problem. But now you gotta pull in just right. You yeah. know. Oh, well, anyway, thank you for being conscientious. I'm going to talk to this guy about this one. I'll, I'll keep an eye on this one, though. Thank you. Thank you. Take it off. You, you think you know who did it? I'll go oh, I know. I know I know who did it. I'll get it, though. I want to oh. have a, just a brief learning experience, hopefully, with this gentleman. But thank you, though. Thank you, though. That's not where the cart goes. This cart return right over there. Oh. You left your cart in the driveway, sir. The, the shopping cart. So now it's loose and it can roll downhill and hit somebody else's car. Oh, gravity. I'm sorry? A thousand bucks. So uh, do I have to wait here all day to watch it? I feel like you're pretending that the laws of gravity don't exist. I'm a, how am I a dick? I'm asking nicely for you to help out in your fellow. Well, I think your opinion might be misguided. No, it's not. Ill-informed. It's very direct to you. Well, I know, but I think you're maybe putting your assumptions of, I'm a nice guy asking you to do a nice thing, and you're calling me names. Right, you're a dick. But well, I, well, let me explain yourself, sir, please. I'm willing to listen. Explain myself. I'm asking you to explain. I don't have to. But wouldn't a nice guy... I don't have to. Wouldn't a nice guy want to listen to you? You're harassing me. Sir, sir, do you know what harassment means? I call the police. Do I know? I don't think you do. Because you wouldn't want to waste police resources. Please, sir. Over a, over a polite conversation, sir? No, you're not. How, how, how have I been impolite? Can you explain to me? No. Uh, well, no sir. I'm not harassing you. That's not what harassment is. Harassing. While you're on your phone, look up people who get arrested for harassment. You'll find zero results where a polite conversation was harassment. Therefore, I tend to believe it's not harassment. F me? That's not nice. Well, get you a magnet here. Well, sir, the, you see the irony though is your cart could touch someone else's car. Put that right there. You want a sir, the problem is your cart's been left out. That's the problem. problem sir, I want you to take your cart back, is what I'd like. Oh, by the way, you fell for the fake out. I didn't put anything on your car. So I faked you out. Yeah, you're a piece of shit. That's why. Uh, no, sir. You fake out? Well, sir, you again have left your cart. I'm sorry? You're antagonist. Sir, that may be true, but I am doing it for a good reason. The who's what? The I can't hear you, sir. You're not, you're not talking very loudly. That's your job, bro. Really? Yeah, my job is to protect other people from your laziness. My laziness is a millionaire at 28 years old. Bro. Well, then you should know about hard work, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. See, I usually don't do two fake outs. That was not a fake out. Now. Good toss though, sir. I've got a litter bug magnet for you right here. It says I'm a litter bug. Put that right there. Now, sir, you fell for the fake out again. See, it's your pride that let me. <laughs> sir, no, I don't. Well, I'm a very highly trained agent. I'm a very highly trained agent. I run fast, I have good moves. I will kick your ass. How's you gonna do that, sir? You're very old. Now, if you're, I'm sorry? Now, sir, now you're blocking the driving area. Yeah. I don't want to... Sir, show you how old I am. Sir, I don't want to fight you. I don't know what I've done in my life. I don't want to fight you. I know what you've done right now in your life. And your fat ass right now. My fat ass, sir. Yeah. Sir, we can take a body fat analysis, and I don't want to shame you, but you're I believe... Fat, <laughs> it's muscles, sir. Now... Muscle? <laughs> yeah. Don't kick my ass. I don't, I'm not here to kick anyone's ass. Don't fuck I'm here to convince you, through yourself. reason and logic, to put your card back. Don't fuck Sir, I don't need to do that. Number one, I'd have to have a quite large genitalia to do that, which even I don't have. You're a piece of shit. Sir, the piece of poop is the person who leaves this out here where it's blocking part of the driving area. I wish I had this on video. What? I wish I had this on video. You don't want to, yeah. you don't want to embarrass yourself by being on video, sir. How are you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Thank you. Now, sir, please, would you take your cart back and not leave it in the way? 
Where would you like me to drop my pants if you suck my dick? Sir, that would be a display of sexual organs, which is against the law here. No, it's not. It's not like my dick is wrong. Not out in public. I don't, I don't plan on touching you, sir. I plan on convincing you nicely. I'm sorry, I've never what? I can't hear you, sir. There's a lot of yelling going on. Let's see if we can go for another fake out. There ain't nobody like me. This, that's sort of true, but actually there are, there are thousands, millions like me who like taking their cards back. Ay, ay, ay. Like this guy right here, look at him. Look at what a good job you're doing. Thank you, sir, by the way. <sighs> sir. Now that you're in traffic, I'm gonna let you go uh, on account of your encouraging me to perform fellatio on you, but. <laughs> and you're actually, you're out in traffic now, so I'm not gonna cause you to, again, block traffic again. Narcoteers, a lot of us ask, like, when do you de-escalate? When they get into real traffic like that, it's usually a good time to de-escalate. Because again, he's shown he's prone to violent threats at the very least, as well as uh, just lies, <laughs> but also, a lot of sexual, a lot of sexual <laughs> suggestions from that man. I don't know if maybe he was looking to uh, score a date there. Because he went sexual really quickly. But no, notice that's the, that's something you hear from men. And, you know, a, a boom, uh, you know, points for all the feminists out there. It's the women I, I encounter. You don't hear them talking about how much money they made, what they can do, if they can kick my butt. A bit of a fragile masculinity there. I think that term's overused, but I think in this case, that is a perfect example of a very frail man whose ego and his masculinity is very frail, because why would it be all about violence and money and uh, sucking of the Ds? These are interesting signs, because obviously they say thank you, parenthetically, for returning your cart, because then the next sentence is we are not responsible for damages caused by carts. Um, so there is your sign folks about where these cars need to go and uh, we're out far towards no come on come on over yes i am one of those guys that is true <laughs> i'll take i'll take it the rest of the way since you showed you were redeemable <laughs> thank you sir appreciate it got it for you thank you we were in shorts right Sorry? A little cold oh, you, you know what? I'm out there walking around. Uh, oh yeah, I'm the cart narc. This is the cart narc too. Can I get you a sticker? Cause you, I'll get you two stickers because you did the right thing. How about that? <laughs> I'm going to the gym. Yeah, Thank you for it. you turned your life around. I love it. Yeah. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. I love it first. So it's weird. Who did I think I was before? I'm one of those effing guys. And he's like, oh, it's the cart narc. But you would think if you're aware of the cart narcs, you would want to live by our code, but that's okay. The cart narcs always say. It's not about being perfect. It's about correcting your mistakes when you, when you make them. Because we're all going to make mistakes. But the real, learned, and evolved human being says, you know what, okay, that wasn't quite right. Let's, let's see if we can fix that. This one is, uh, quite frankly, a little perplexing. And we're going to give her an old lady exemption. Because she's got, look at this I mean, little, little lady in the pink uh, bonnet. She walked her cart over here, perfectly, perfectly willing to block this handicap access area when all she had to do was go right over here. Again, you saw she was, oh, and, and a lady of God too. Uh, come on. I think some people just roll through life and they are uh, less than oblivious. They are oblivious to the rest of the world. What's this guy selling? Mushrooms? Yeah, I mean, we'll find one out about that in a minute. Cocoa beans? Cart out. Smelling it. I don't know what else he would be doing. I've, uh, I've seen a lot of people sell things in parking lots, marketeers. And uh, I've seen uh, candy, of course. Different tamales, I've seen those. And... How are you doing? Oh, I need oh, some tree. Some tree. <laughs> I think that means marijuana. <laughs> you know, I find it's best not, and it's, you know, for folks, you'll say that marijuana is legal here in uh, Las Vegas. This is true. But uh, it's best. That's a real narc when you uh, walk up on a drug deal. <laughs> uh, which, you know, it is legal, but only by licensed uh, dispensaries. So, well, 
<laughs> will not step in there. <laughs> Lots going on here in Las Vegas. Cutting ourselves out.